Meanwhile, UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's party is still reeling from the loss in North Yorkshire by election. A new storm faces the British Prime Minister. Tory MP and former Minister Nadine Doris has re resigned her common seat. Not only this, she's accusing Sunak of demeaning his office by speaking out against her. In a scathing resignation letter published in local UK news outlets, Doris accused Sunak of putting her personal safety at risk. This by whipping a public frenzy against her and disclosing that the police had visited her home last week, warning her about a threat to her security. She added, and I'm quoting here, you have no mandate from the people and the government is adrift. Have you squandered the goodwill of the nation? For what? That's what she asks. Doris's decision opens the way for another awkward by-election for the Conservatives in what should be an ultra-safe Tory seat. Sunak recently criticised Doris for failing to represent her constituents properly. Frustration with her had also been growing among Tory MPs and in her constituency as well. They accused her of being absent while continuing to receive her taxpayer-funded salary of over $100,000. Now, the outgoing MP, a staunch ally of Sunak's predecessor, Boris Johnson, last spoke in the Commons more than 400 days ago and has voted only six times so far this year. This is not the only matter of concern for the 43-year-old Sunak. He also finds himself embroiled in a potential conflict of interest controversy. Worries have surfaced regarding allegations that his family could uh, stand to gain financially from a post-Brexit trade agreement currently in the works with India. Trade experts are raising transparency issues related to the stakeholders of Sunak's wife in a Bengaluru-based IT giant co-founded by his father-in-law. And this latest conflict of interest row follows Sunak's recent criticism by the UK parliamentary watchdog. He was pulled up for not properly declaring his wife's shareholding in a childcare firm, benefiting from the government policy changes.